Welcome to the Centrify ADBind Proxy, How to Migrate from Centrify Enabled Samba video. My name is Cody Curtis from Centrify Technical Support. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate a sample migration from the legacy Centrify Enabled Samba solution to Stock Samba, and then integrate it with Centrify using our newly introduced ADBind Proxy component. Before you begin, you will need the following a Centrify agent installed and joined to the domain, and an existing and working Centrify enabled Samba instance running on the same system. In my environment, I am running the 5.3.1 version of the Centrify direct control agent, and the 3.6.25 version of the Centrify enabled Samba. I'm going to verify real quick that my Samba shares are working before I do the upgrade. On the Linux side, we're just going to use SMB client to look at which shares are we have on our system. Enter my password. We can see here I have a few shares. Um, the one that we're going to be testing with today is the Centrify share. So let's try and access that share directly. Enter my password again. You can see I was successfully able to get in. And if I do a ls in there, I can have a few files listed there. Let's go to the Windows side and see if we can access it there as well. I'm going to open up a Windows Explorer and type in the, the name of the server, which is file server 01 in this instance. We can see here that we resolved and we've got, I can see my Centrify share along with my other shares as well. If I click on my Centrify share, you can see I also see those same files. Now we're ready to proceed. Now we are ready to proceed with the first step in the migration, which is to back up the existing Samba config file. So we're going to do We're just going to put that in the same directory and name it with the .back extension. Let's just verify that file is actually there. We can see that the smb.conf.back um, is there. Now we'll need to uninstall the Centrify enabled Samba. We're going to do that by just using the RPM commands. So I'm just going to do RPM E Centrify DC Samba. You want to verify, make sure as well that your um, case is correct as well on the name of the RPM. Let's just verify that that's gone. can see that I no longer have the Centrify enabled Samba installed. Next we'll need to proceed to uninstall the uh, we'll need to proceed to install the required Samba packages. Um, and first I'm going to uninstall any previous stock Samba 3 packages that were installed just to make sure that our Samba 4 installation goes smoothly. So I'm just going to see what we have as far as Samba packages are concerned. We can see I have a few Samba 3, um, 3 3.6 uh, versions of Samba components there. So I'm just going to use the uh, yum command to remove those. We're going to say yes to remove those. Okay, now we need to install the Samba 4 packages. So let's go ahead and use yum again. 
this time I'm gonna I'm gonna say Samba's four star to get what we need to. And I'll say yes. All right, and I'm just gonna verify again uh, my Samba packages. We can see here I've got a uh, lots of packages that were installed. I have um, most importantly the Samba Windbind, uh, Samba Libs, and um, just the Samba, the straight Samba package. So now's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy in my smb.conf that I just barely backed up. So when I, when I run the ADbind proxy, everything will be back in place as far as my shares and everything like that. I'm just going to do an uh, ls in that directory again just to make sure that I have what I want. Okay, and we can see that uh, my smb.conf was the last file that was modified there, so I know that's in place. Um, we can always do a test parm on that as well just to make sure that's what we were seeing, that our previous shares show up there. Okay, now we're ready to uh, download and install the new Centrify Dbind proxy component and run that con configuration script. So I'm just going to go out to the Centrify website. www.centrify.com And we're going to go to support. And then downloads. Actually, let's come down here and go to Download Center. And it's going to prompt for me to log in. And I've got my credentials in there already, so I'm just going to do login. And then I want to come down here to the trouble tools and troubleshooting, and I want the integration with Samba. And then we just need to choose which it would, the version that's specific to our operating system. And since I'm running a RHEL 6 box, um, this version here would be the version that I need. So I'm just going to click on that to download it. Let's save that file. Now that I put that in my download, so let's go back to the terminal and let's, let's take care of that. We can see here we have a central radio bind proxy uh, ggz file. And I'm actually going to untar this in a temp directory, so I'm going to make a directory in the temp directory called adbind proxy. Then I'm going to move this file to that directory. Let's go out to that file and let's get business here. So we're going to untar this. Okay, we see we've got a few files in here. We've got our adbind proxy RPM and then the adbind proxy guide, which is a good document to reference and also our release notes. So we're going to go ahead and install this RPM using rpm-uvh command there. And we need to be root or root equivalent user. So I'm going to use my dzdo command. All right, now that we've got that installed, we now need to run the script. And that script is located out in user share centrify dc bin adbindproxy.pl. And we'll need to run that as a root or root equivalent user as well. So for the most part, we're just going to go through the defaults here. We'll just keep the defaults. Uh, we don't need to join a zone because I'm already joined to a zone. But if you need to join a zone, you can use that option to join your machine to the zone. Um, this option here is the one option you may want to pay close attention to. It says specify the stock Samba windbind listen path directory if it's not in run Samba windbind D. For rel 6.x uh, installations, more often than not, the, the uh, windbind listen path is actually out in var run. Samba windbind D. So please verify that. 
Then other than that, we're just going to stick with the uh, the default mappings here, the default options. Okay, it finishes. So you can see it gives us a few information there, and then it starts the uh, the service. And this is where it can cause a little bit of confusion. Um, but it's always good to do a restart of the Centrify DC Samba service after installation. Just make sure everything's up and running. And this is where it can be a little bit confusing because um, I thought, you know, we just installed Centrify Samba, so why do we need to restart that service? Well, with Centrify's 80 Pro 80 bind proxy, there's a service called Centrify DC Samba that will start all our necessary services needed in order for Centrify to work with stock Samba. Those include SMBD, NMBD, WinBindD, and 80 bind and the SMBD that it's referencing is the stock Samba that we just installed. So this is pretty nifty. That way it's taking care of all those necessary components without having to start and stop them individually. So I'm just going to um, do a restart on that for good measure. We can see they all stopped and started, came back up correctly. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm also going to add this to my check config list so that um, the Centrify DC Samba will start all my necessary components if the system um, is ever restarted. So let's go ahead and add that. Okay, and then I'm going to turn that on. Let's just check to make sure. We can see that that's been turned on for the necessary run levels that it's needed. Now we just need to verify our installation and our integration of ADBind Proxy. So let's just verify that Samba version that we're running again, just to make sure we're on the latest. It says we're running version 4.2.10. And then once again from the Linux side, let's run our SMB client tool. Enter the password, and you can see once again I've got I can see my shares, my Centrify shares there from the previous uh, version. So let's try and access that again. Enter the password. We can see I successfully was able to authenticate to the share. Let's let's do a listing. We can see we have those shares. Now let's go back out to the Windows uh, server just to ver verify that we can see it there again as well. If I enter the uh, server name again, which is file server 01. Okay, so once again we can see those shares. So let's just click in the Centrify share again and we can see those two groups. And let's just go and add a, a, a test file real quick just to make sure that we can see that on both sides. And I'm just going to keep the default there of new text document. And I'm just going to add a little bit of text here. And let's save it. Let's go back to the Linux box. Let's just do an ls in here again to see if we can see the file. We can see the files in there. So everything appears to be working. We've successfully upgraded our system from Centrify enabled Samba to stock Samba and the new Centrify ADBind proxy. For more information, please see the Samba integration guide included with the ADBind proxy download package or from our product documentation website, along with the following KBs that also may be useful in installing ADBind proxy. Thank you for watching this video and for your interest in Centrify products. For more information, please visit us at www.centrify.com or on our community site at community.centrify.com.